Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back with another game unboxing thing. In this episode, we're actually taking a look at all the extra bits and bobs from the Zombie Side Invader Kickstarter package. So these are the things that uh, don't really need a standalone video for, I guess, but came as extras in the all-in extra package thing from the uh, Zombie Side Invader Kickstarter set, which was a cool thing. You can see some of the previous videos over on the side. Uh, check out the channel for any of the other unboxings of this particular set, but uh, let's just go ahead and dive into this. So in this video, we're going to look at uh, the extra bases, the extra dice packs. We've got the plastic token pack, the invader tile set, the 3D doors, and the deck holder set. So again, all part of Zombie Side Invader. Uh, so let's just go and jump right into it. Um, so I did pick up this set of extra bases. I think there's like 25 of these in here. Uh, so you got a good mix of black and white and gray. Um, these are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we'll cut this open real fast here and uh, take a look at them. So these little rings just fit on the, uh, the bases. And somehow I don't actually have one of those silly miniatures uh, sitting here, but... Uh, I do have a D&D &D mini here handy, so uh, these just fit over top of the bases like so. You just kind of snap them in place, something like that, and they just help you keep track of your characters on the board, and then you can just pop them right off when you're done with them and put them back in the pack. Very nice. Uh, it's They're not needed, but they're kind of nice to have on the table. So we get a whole pack of those, shove those back in there. Uh, the base game came with enough for your regular player survivor characters, uh, but these are just extra ones for some of the monsters and things like that. So pretty cool to have, nice for some of the civilian sets that uh, we have in other videos. Uh, we also got the two extra sets of dice, the uh, theme dice. The ones that actually came in the boxes were just uh, regular dice. Um, they're all D6, but these two sets are actually uh, nicely color-coded for... There's a blue one and an orange one, and coincidentally enough, they are actually uh, labeled blue and uh, orange there on the top, which is nice and handy. Uh, so that you know which one's for which, because maybe you can't tell. Uh, let's just take these out of the pack real quick. They do have a nice uh, little, I don't know what you call that, blister pack, I guess. But you get uh, six dice in the set. Uh, they are pretty well standard dice, but they're kind of themed with the invader icons on them. They look really cool, and I think I like them better than uh, just standard D6, but uh, again, they're not needed, but they're just kind of a nice extra, so that's why I got these. They fit back in here pretty easily if you uh, want to put them back in there, but uh, you can never really have enough dice, so I picked up both of those sets. They're pretty much all the same, just uh, this one is orange and this one is blue. <laughs> Okay, we'll set those back to the side also. Put them back in the little baggie here. I gotta figure out a good way of uh, organizing all this stuff because there's a lot of content between all the Kickstarter stuff. So, anyway, there is those. Uh, let's look at this plastic token set here. Uh, comes in a nice plain white box here. Cellophane wrapper, we're just going to go ahead and uh, cut that off. And pull the paper off and see what we got here. So the these plastic tokens are meant to just kind of replace the standard punch-out tokens in the base game. Hopefully this will uh, focus in here in a second. 
Zombicide Plastic Token Pack. I don't see, uh, there he is, there's the, the number on it. ZCS006. And we have a whole bunch of stuff in here. So these are just plastic versions of the little regular punch outs. So shouldn't be too crazy here, but let's just grab a couple of these here. Uh, nice plastic. Have the regular icons on both sides. Got a nice feel to them. And they're definitely much more durable than the, the cardboard punch outs. So we get a set of all of these. There's the green token, the yellow token, the red tokens, the uh, little gun tokens, and some orange ones. There's a blue one right there. And a white one. I guess those are double sided. So there's a white one there, and uh, some of those are red only. I don't know the difference, but uh, yeah. Oh, and here's a pink one, purple one. Oh, didn't grab it. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, pink one and red. So I don't know. Those are. Those are cool. Again, these are just extras. You don't really need these to play the game, but uh, they are definitely much more durable than the uh, standard cardboard ones. But again, not a necessity for the game, which is why they're in the extra bundle. So those are cool. I like those. We also get a bag full of uh, exit signs and uh, invader doodads and I um, don't know what that racket was but <laughs> let's see what these things are uh, again nice plastic some of these are different colors on each sides yellow and red purple and red that uh, cool pastel pink red color white red Red, 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 blue, red, 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 and the exit sign. So those are cool. Stick those back in there. And see what else we got in here. Uh, next up we have set of these uh, this one is from the dark side expansion pack um, yeah these are actually cool so these are the same as the the uh, tunnel burrow things um, I guess they're called tunnel pits and I don't know if you can see this real well or not, but it does have a nice actual texture on these instead of just the cardboard. So you can see some of the rock work and things like that. They don't really feel like they're plastic, but I think these are still cardboard. But they do have that extra tactile sensation to them with the little raised edges. So those are cool. But, uh, yeah, I want to say that's still cardboard inside of there. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and look at that and see. It may be a solid piece of plastic, but uh, for some reason I'm thinking that's actually not solid plastic. It doesn't quite feel like solid plastic to me. But uh, maybe it's just the type of plastic they're using. I don't know. Uh, then we also get these, which are from the... Uh, the regular base game and the uh, expansion set, which was, what is it called? Black Ops. Uh, so again, these are basically the same shape and size and same print as the, the, the infestation plague mold stuff here. But as you can see, hopefully there is some extra raised detail in these things, which is nice. 
but again, it feels kind of cardboardishy, and it's flexing kind of like cardboard. So I think maybe they've just taken and put a thin layer of plastic coating on these. Sounds like plastic, but I think it's plastic and then cardboard underneath. So I don't know, but those are still cool. We get uh, two sets of those as well. They're the same in each pack. So yeah, uh, that is everything here in the plastic token set. Go ahead and uh, stick these back in here. But that is a cool little set here. It's a really nice add-on. So uh, this one I would actually recommend you pick up if you can, if you have the opportunity, because those are nice. Uh, we'll save, I guess, the uh, tile set to last. So let's go ahead and jump over to the 3D doors. Again, nice plastic coating on them. Kind of shows you on the back what it is. So it's supposed to have uh, 11 door frames, five neutral doors, and six colored doors. So that's cool. If I can get this in here. So let's get this thing open. Pops out like that. And then you've got a little plastic insert tray in there. And we do have the right number of doors. One, two, three, four, five, six colored ones. One, two, three, four, five of those neutral ones. So these are basically little door stands, um, doorways, I guess you could say. They've got some nice detail on them. They look really cool. Nice texture down here at the bottom and some like control pads and things like that. Uh, so basically what you do is, let's grab one of these here. This one looks good. Uh, so the doors <clears throat> look really cool as well. But they have on the bottom of them these little uh, round peg kind of things. So on the actual door frame itself on the bottom, you see there's these little peg holes. Uh, so what you do is you line up the peg holes, and I don't know which is left and right. I don't guess it really matters, but uh, line up those peg holes into those pegs. And snap them in place. It's pretty tight, but there we go. Well... Maybe not. Probably easier if you're not trying to film things, but uh, <laughs> they're a little hard to get in there. You can get one side, and then the other side pops off. <laughs> so, let's try that again. Line up that hole, and then try to line this one up. Press down until it snaps in place like that. Uh, then basically what these do is they actually fold up and kind of latch. There's little notches up here at the top of this. So your door latches in place and then you uh, just press to open it. And it just kind of, that's uh, open, I guess. So I guess they couldn't really do a, a good way to make them slide up or down. So instead they opted for a fold down mechanism. Which is actually still pretty cool because uh, you can actually still set your minis on top of that so they can go through the doorway. They don't fit through the doorway, but uh, you can stand them in the doorway anyways. Which is a nice little touch there. It's got a nice tactile feel to it. They latch in pretty well, so uh, that's actually cool. So yeah, these are nice little replacements for just the uh, the door icons on the maps so yeah that's actually pretty nice i like that put that back in there and uh fold that back up so uh this is a set i would actually recommend as well it just adds a little bit of flair 
to your your maps. So those are awesome. Uh, next up we have the deck holder set. We have uh, two blue ones and two orange ones. So these are uh, supposed to fit either sleeved or unsleeved cards. So it's supposed to be enough to handle both uh, drawing and discard piles for both equipment and Xeno decks. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, that's one of the complaints I have. The, the actual card system itself, uh, it's those small cards and they're easy to kind of get scattered all over the place basically. So uh, these little deck holders um, kind of help with that in that you stick your cards in here and they don't go flying everywhere. <laughs> that's the theory anyways. So uh, let's see here. Open that up, fold it out. We got a blue set and an orange set. Very nice looking. Um, they're going to be the same, so I'm not going to take out both of them. But uh, we got a base and two decks for each one, or two side posts. As you can see, hopefully, maybe I should have got the blue in here. Uh, the light's going to probably blow this one out. But uh, it does have the nice Simon logo on it. You've got uh, basically two different joints here to accommodate either the sleeved on the outside or unsleeved on the inside which is a nice little thing so uh, you basically just take these and stick them in place and they just kind of sit there which is nice and then that gives you a uh, room to stick all your cards there so uh, let me grab a set of those real quick <clears throat> I should have thought about that before I uh, sat down here. I uh, grabbed the uh, actual zombie side invader box here. Shake this loose and find our card deck somewhere in here. So here is the deck of cards. These are unsleeved, obviously, because I've not taken the time to get sleeves for them yet. But, um, so you would take just like a set of the cards here, one half of them, and just kind of dump them in here. And they just kind of sit there and uh, they don't go all over the place here. So, um pretty nice they're actually not going to slide i thought they were going to be too loose in here but they actually aren't actually going to fall out at all which is nice it does make it a little bit weird to actually draw from them you can't just like grab a card and slide it out which is my first inclination is just to grab it like a deck of cards and pull one off the top uh you actually have to yeah it won't go that way either so you actually have to uh, reach in here and pick one up but that's a nice little set here um it does work pretty well i need to get sleeves obviously but uh yeah that actually works pretty well i'm actually surprised that i wasn't sure exactly how it would work but again you can kind of shake them all around and they're not going to accidentally fall out which is cool so just reach in off the top pull it all the way up and then you got your card there so yeah that's uh that's actually pretty cool here we'll uh, throw these cards back in the, our box set here before i lose them um before i do that here so this entire this is the entirety of the whole deck from invader and you can put the entire deck there and still have plenty of room so and then you've got a discard one as well and then the idea is that you split these in half and put your xeno cards in one and your equipment cards in the other so yeah that's actually going to work pretty well 
I'm really surprised about that. But uh, then these pop off very easy, so uh, shouldn't be any issues with transport. So uh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. That works much better than I was expecting to, uh, to be honest with you. I was unsure about that when I uh, ordered them, but yeah, that's, that's really cool. So that is the deck holder set. Uh, next up, we do have the Invaders tile set, which is uh, 12 game tiles from Invader and Black Ops, the uh, expansion. So on the back, we do have a nice picture of all of the included ones. Uh, it has 12 double-sided game tiles and one token punch board. So uh, you don't really need this set to do anything with. Uh, it's just kind of an extra. Well, I guess I've said that about everything in this extra set. That's why it's extra, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, these are not going to be new maps these should be the exact same ones as we got in the base game just uh, duplicates of them so you can play more I guess if you wanted to get more guys on the map at one time <laughs> I don't know I ordered this thing a really long time ago and about forgot about it so uh, this has just a regular kind of card sleeve on it, so you just kind of shake it and the things come out and pop out like that. And then this kind of just folds up. Pretty interesting. So uh, we'll set that to the side for the moment. Then we have just our uh, standard uh, punch deck here. All the regular icons we've seen. Uh, same icons we have seen for the uh, plastic ones as well. Uh, I don't remember seeing these things as uh, plastic ones, but it's because they are the doors, I guess. <laughs> yes, those look like doors. Do they look like doors to you? So that is the open door. And that is the closed doorway. So, that's kind of cool, but <clears throat> let's look at these uh, actual map tiles. Um, let me adjust this just a little bit to get the majority of this in frame, hopefully. Uh, so, we have front and back of these guys, and they do look like the exact same map set. So... They're just duplicates, so there's one, and then number two. Number three. Really nice artwork, though. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the uh, regular review of the actual base game, but I really do like the artwork they use here. Very cool. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see that room. And we'll pan down a little bit. Nice security room. And then you got the outsides. Very cool looking textures. And the inside. Or the flip side, I guess you could say. Sorry. <clears throat> Here's our next tile. I will not zoom in on all these things. That's not really relevant. So uh, <laughs> we'll just flip these. Flip. And flip. That's cool, though. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. <laughs> flip. And flip. Some really interesting details here. Another airlock. 
flip. And this looks like one of the uh, bad guy places. It's already kind of got overrun a little bit. Really awesome. You, you can use these with other games. You don't have to only use it with uh, Invader here. This would be great for something like a uh, Starfinder game or anything like that. It would be really cool. So uh, that's all of our tiles. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this one, definitely you probably don't need to pick this extra tile set up at all. Uh, so you can probably pass on that one, but I really do like the deck holder set. Very awesome. Uh, the 3D doors are tremendous. The plastic token set is outstanding. And, well, it's medium outstanding, I guess. Uh, the mold tokens aren't really what I was hoping for in a plastic version, but uh, the other icons are really nice, really cool. We do have the extra dice, which I do like the coloring on them. And then uh, again, the regular bases. So uh, that's all the extra bits and bobs. Um, we do have a whole bunch of other uh, survivor packs to look at in future episodes, but I'm going to do that as a separate video. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. It should be coming down uh, right after this one, uh, if it's not out already. Um, thank you for watching. Leave some comments down below. Let us know what you think of all these little extras. Are they uh, worth looking into if you haven't picked up the game already? Uh, if they're available at retail, are they things that would be interesting to you? If you would uh, like to see something specific looked at in future episodes from gaming to action figures to whatever else, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'll do my best to get it out in front of y'all. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a little notification button over there you're welcome to hit. That way you'll know exactly when all of these new uh, zombie side invader survivor packs are coming down and in front of y'all. Until next time. Game on!